Hi there everyone, uh, welcome back to another Midi Figures review and for today's review we are going to take a look at KDL's latest release on the Naruto Midi Figures line and uh, I think KDL has been focusing mainly on Naruto uh, Midi Figures lately because all their releases are more focused on Naruto which is good for us, right? Uh, anyway, uh, before we start to take a look at the Midi Figures, uh, do remember to click on the subscribe button to show support for the channel, alright? So let's uh, take a look at the minifigures. We start with uh, my guy. This my guy. Eight gate version. Uh, accessories wise, he comes with uh, this dragon head here. Uh, mainly, you just you know, you can just make him hold it, but. Uh, it doesn't work this way in the anime. Uh, it's just part of his uh, iconic chakra that comes out into a dragon form, just like in the anime. So it looks good, uh, but it doesn't work well as a shield for for uh, my guy. But it's a very nice piece. Okay, translucent, right? very nice addition. You look at a uh, guy here. It's very nice. Look at his face printing. Just excellent face printing here. You can see all the chakra lines. Very nice. So back here, there's no back face printing. But uh, the only face print here is, I think it's very nice. It really uh, matches the, the anime. Okay. Uh, the hair is also a very nice piece. I'm not sure if this is a, a repeat usage or a new sculpt. It does look familiar. But that works well. You know, as a guy's hair. Very nice. It's the body print here. I think it's okay, not bad. Uh, just that the chakra line kind of look like uh, corals, you know. Uh, but at least it's done quite well, uh, very clean. You can see some, uh, I think it's sufficient detail here. Okay, the belt and the usual uh, KDL Naruto minifigures leg printing. Okay, so no side body print, just a side leg printing, a side arm printing. Let's see all the chakra lines. Back body print. It's very nice. There's the other side leg printing. No side body print here. And the side arm printing. So not bad. This this middle figure is not bad. Uh, another additional uh, mic. Uh, an additional guy for for our collection. Okay, but uh, I just felt that the chakra line is too thick, but otherwise it looks good enough. Yeah, a uh, very good version of a uh, guy. Next, we have one of uh, Danzo's uh, bodyguard, Fu. Right, uh, it comes with your usual KDL uh, Sai or sword, uh, dagger, uh, the shinobi dagger, and uh, shuriken. Okay, it's the minifigure. Uh, face printing looks nice. Just as your usual, KDL has always been able to provide a very nice face print. Okay. There's no second face print here. The hair is also a new piece. 
Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this hair sculpt, which is very nice. Uh, I think they're going to continue use, be using this for uh, a lot of Naruto minifigures. They already reused this uh, for Ankle. Uh, later on, I'm sure Ankle actually uses the same ha uh, hair sculpt. Okay. So the face paint is very nice. Uh, I think mine just got some kind of a, a scratch off the paint here, the printing. So not a QC problem. Okay, so body print here is okay, sufficient enough. Nothing spectacular, but it's just accurate. Okay, so here some side body print here, which is the belt. Side weight printing, side arm print here, which the color uh, from my camera looks okay, looks bright. The actual fact the skin color is rather dark. It's a very dark brown kind of a color. Uh, the usual issue of printing on top of or painting on top of black color plastic. Okay, so it's rather dark kind of dark brownish kind of skin color rather than the light uh, skin color. Okay, but the neck is okay. The neck is a very nice uh, tone of skin color here. So here's the back print. Okay, again nothing spectacular, sufficient enough. Okay. Same goes for here, the skin color again, it's very dark tone kind of skin color. Alright. So I think this is uh sufficient. This minifigure has the Sufficient accurate body print, very nice face printing and a hair sculpt. Uh, very glad that they actually chose to release something that we do not have. And uh, this is a good one, right? Foo. And of course, they also released the other Danzo bodyguard together, which is cool enough. Uh, Torune. So Torune comes with Shuriken, Asai, and also with a a spider, which I do not know why. Uh, his jitsu is mainly on uh, releasing some kind of a, a micro, uh, microscopic kind of a bacteria, but it's not definitely not insects, right? So I'm not sure what's this for. Okay, here you have uh, Toruni. It's the face print. Yep, does matches Toruni's face print very well. Uh, very well done by KDL again. No side body print. Uh, so no back face printing. And the hair is a normal, the common uh, short hair piece we've seen before. Okay. But I really like the face print. Just very accurate to Toruni. You know, even the expression from the mouth here. So body print is again a uh, very basic body print. Okay, it's just same as uh, Fu. Both have very basic body print. Perhaps it's okay. Uh, then you can actually place them side by side, not looking that awkward since both have the same uh, basic body print, right? It's okay. Side body print. Ah, very nice pouch here. Just like the actual character, they he actually has two uh, side pouch, so nice touch. Not forgetting the side pouch here, so very nicely done. Okay, side body print. I'll see. There is a side body print here. The black color here. Okay, side arm printing is just at the shoulder. It's a back body print. Uh, nothing much. Has another side body print and side leg print with the side pouch here. I really like the touch of the side pouch. Okay, so uh, an okay character Torune and also Fu. Uh, although nothing spectacular about these two minifigures, but I really, I'm really happy that they release uh, something that we do not have, right? So very nice. I can actually place them together with Danzo. Next, we'd have uh, Saru Tobi, and uh, he comes with 
his usual, uh, we call it, uh, stuff, you know, like monkey god stuff. So it's just the basic uh, Lego bar with two uh, lightsaber handle to assemble this. Okay. And look at the minifigure. I gotta tell you, this is my favorite in this set. Just unexpected. When I, I saw the picture, I thought that uh, Asuma would be my favorite. But after looking, uh, after having this figure on my hand, this is just an excellent minifigure. I'm gonna show you how much KDL has improved, right? So let's take a look at the face print first. See, the face print is just very, very nice. A very stern battle look, kind of a Sarutobi. Very, very nice face print. It just comes with a second face print only. He has a second face print, the rest all minifigures only have one sided face print. Okay, this is a much more uh, angrier face print. Just look at that. Very nice. Very screen accurate, very nice face print. Uh, you can actually compare with the previous release of uh, Sarutobi. So you can see it's a different face print. This is a more calmer and happier face print. And this is a, a battle ready face print. Very nice. Next thing is the helmet is just awesome. A very very nice helmet here. Very nice printing on the uh, head with forehead protector here. Look at the scalp of the entire helmet. It just feels very solid. The helmet is very very solid helmet. And this piece here you can actually you have to attach it. Okay, it's a separate piece. See, it's very nice, just superb helmet. Amazing, just simply amazing. Okay, body print, uh, to me it looks amazing. Okay, it looks simple, but one thing if you look at it, it has a full body print. Side to the arms, to the side body, side leg, right? And the back print here, look at that. Just very nice. Look at fire here, the wood fire. Superb work. It's fully body full body printed uh, printing and excellent sculpt. Face printing is superb. Really love the helmet. This is just one amazing minifigure. I mean this is the best in this set. Really love it. You know, Sarutobi. Superb. Next, you have Uncle, and uh, Uncle comes with your Shuriken and Sai. Right? See Uncle, get a face print here. A very accurate face print again. Okay, that's how she looks like. The forehead protector. There's no back face printing. Uh, the hair piece, like I mentioned, is actually the same one as uh, Fu. So the straight away they reuse the hair piece. Okay, uh, but it still works well for both of, of this uh, minifigure. But I was hoping that uh, I don't know. Uh, normally, Uncle the the ponytail kind of uh, stood up a little bit spiky. So, but sh still, this this works well, right? You can't be too perfect. Okay. Still resembles Uncle a lot. Yeah, the body print is very nice. Just look at that. Very nice body netting. Superb. Very clean. Uh, just a little bit of smudge here. I think mostly it's just mine. I always have all this kind of luck. Bad luck in receiving a, a nice minifigure. But overall very nice body print here. Uh, it shows you how much KDL has improved. Uh, even the skin tone here is okay. Uh, it's not too dark, right? Still able to pass matching the uh, plastic color. Okay, very nice. It's the side body print, side leg printing, no side body print. Uh, side arm is just the sleeve. Okay. Uh, back body print is a bit weak. Nothing much here. Okay. So many the side leg. So. 
I think she's okay. The front body print is very nice. Uh, again, glad to have her in my collection. Uh, another Konoha minifigure. Very nice. So hopefully they can continue to churn out more of uh, this Shinobi from uh, Konoha. So Anko. Next, uh, one of my long-awaited uh, minifigure, Asuma. Okay, really love this guy a lot uh, in the anime. So it comes with uh, his usual uh, dagger. Oops, sorry. She always holds it this way. Okay, so it's very accurate. Uh, what is shot is that uh, just missing some kind of paint job to make it uh, more stand out, but still it works well. Okay, it's good enough. But I was hoping that they could add, maybe give some uh, grey or silverish color to to the side here, to the edge of the blade, to make it uh, more outstanding. Okay. So if Asuma, you look at face print, a very nice face print with the cigarette there, his trademark cigarette, and the eyes. Just look at the eyes. You can see the animation. Uh, animated eyes here. Very nice face print. Very, very nice. Uh, no back face print. Uh, the hair is a bit boring. They have been using this, I think, countless times. Uh, it works well for Asuma. Uh, but not perfect. Okay. Although his hair is somewhat similar to this, but I was hoping they could give him a new hair sculpt. But anyway, uh, it works well too. So it comes with uh, one of KDL's best creation, the sculpted Shinobi vest. Look at that the red color, uh, some metallic color here. Touch up, very nice. This vest has always been my favorite. Okay, so the body print, uh, nothing much below it. I'm so it's very accurate, he has this kind of a cloth down with the fire wording here. So very nice of capturing the actual detail. And the grey is also very nicely done. Okay, very clean. Uh, you don't see the underneath plastic color showing. Okay, so no side body print. Uh, side weight printing is minimal. And side arm printing is very nice, accurate with the Konoha logo. Uh, back body print again, nothing much. Back leg printing, same goes for the side with the pouch and the logo. Okay, but still, I, I really love it. Uh, it's one of my favorite characters from the show. Uh, glad that they re release him. So, another Konoha minifigure, Asuma. Next, we have Sugetsu. See Sugetsu here. It comes with this uh, giant blade, which is quite accurate sculpt wise. Uh, you can see it also has the detailing at the handle, just like in the anime. Okay, the sculpt is very nice, very accurate. Uh, but again, uh, same like Asuma's weapon, I was hoping maybe they could paint it up a little bit, you know, with grey color or some uh, dark metallic grey. It's gonna make it pop, you know. But as of now, it still looks very nice. So you can see, so you get to face printing again. Very nice face print here. Uh, they captured everything well with the uh, vampire teeth stacking out here. Let's see, very animated face print. Uh, back face printing? Nope, it's not there. Okay, you can see here. KDL really knows how to make uh, all this kind of Naruto face print. Very nice. Uh, hair piece wise, I think this is also a reuse. It still looks well. Okay, looks good. Uh, body print again, uh, nothing much here. Uh, again, sufficient. Right, menial body print. They have indeed improved their body printing, but uh, 
seems like in one set you might have one or two minifigures with outstanding body print and uh, most of them will come with just minimal like this okay no side body print, no side arm printing, oh side body print, oh no it's, that's not there this is actually the back body print uh, side leg printing okay it's the back body print again same for the side so an okay minifigure but uh, as usual <laughs> uh, can't complain much seeing that they're not releasing the same minifigures over and over again so really happy so you get to at least the face print is very nice okay so you get to. lastly we have uh, Sasori in the uh, puppet form uh, it doesn't come with any accessories, alright? Uh, just this piece here, which I'm going to show you later on. Accessories so, face print. Again, uh, very nice. KDL style. Okay, no back face print. The hair piece here is... I'm not sure if this is also a new hair piece. Uh, but very nice, uh, bright red color. Okay really like it and look at the body print here it's very nice you can see all the details inside here with all these uh, mechanical things inside and some brown color touch up the side here the edge of all this piece here okay, even the wording is very clear of the heart Let's see uh, leg printing is minimal okay but the side body print is very nice look at that Let's see all this uh, brown color detailing here. Even the side arm is uh, very nice with the linings of the, you know, accessories actually a puppet. So the arms actually have uh, sections, you know, formed by certain sections of the puppet. So same here, all right? The back here it comes with this. Uh, I'm not sure what's this for. Yeah, maybe they're trying to provide a sculpted piece of uh, the back of Sasori which I think this is just not necessary because if you look at the printing I think this is good enough yeah you don't need a sculpted one since the sculpted one is white color so I do think this is good enough uh, with all the brown color detailing here so it's very nice back print okay so I think this is not necessary I'm not going to display with this I don't really like the black color neck thing uh, around the neck so I think this is very nice good enough okay so side leg printing for this side again the side body print see it's very nice body print here right you can consider a full body print okay, Sasori and of course WM also released a Sasori previously and let's make a comparison uh, both have different hair sculpt. This is a darker red from WM and the one from KDL has a very bright red color hair Which I think the bright red color hair should be more accurate Face printing wise actually both are quite good All right, but I still prefer the KDL ones Okay, this is not bad right not bad at all from WM, but this looks more like Sasuri Okay body print wise uh, I think both are not bad from front. It's just that uh, yeah, WM also have a lot of detailing uh, shown here at the torso, the abs area, right? But it's just uh, a little bit uh, darker kind of printing, so you can't really see it obvious, All right? So this is a brighter gray so you can see more detail into it but both body prints are, are okay uh, in terms of the wording I think KDL's one is much more clearer this is like you can still see what's WM's one's written but a bit messy uh, it's like all smudged up but the one from KDL you can see it's very clear okay of course leg printing uh, the one from WM has more detail Okay, but when it comes to side body print, uh, KDL just trumps WM's one. You can see 
even the, the linings of the arms I think KDL is way better this is just you know line by line this is more accurate and the body print wise also you have some brown color here even the back body print the one from KDL is also nicer with more details okay so this can actually re replace my sorry but uh, I'm still going to display this in the rope form so I don't need to dismantle this anymore because this will be uh, my definite uh, puppet version of Sasori unroll right so there you have it KDL's Naruto minifigure and what do I think about it I think it's a good set you no know? uh, very satisfied with the again the character range of course there are some uh, repeat I thought it's like why are they releasing Sasori but uh, looking at this Sasori is very nice uh, I'm glad they did it uh, so I have a much more a definite version of Sasori. Uh, of course, the best in the set to me is uh, Sarutobi. It's just amazing minifigure. Unexpected. But overall, uh, a very nice set. Uh, definitely get it to add in to your Naruto minifigures collection. Uh, you're gonna boost up more and more of your roster with this set. Alright, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon with my next video. Right? Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>